Tonight we're learning more about the relationship between the Huguenot High School graduation shooter and the graduate he's accused of shooting. As early as tomorrow, a jury will determine defendant Amari Pollard's fate. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug has been in the courtroom all week. She joins us live with the latest updates. Sierra. Well, Eric, Deanna, it's been a tough day for a lot of people attending the trial, including the jury. People were visibly emotional when we saw pictures of victim Sean Jackson's blood-soaked white shirt projected on screen. It was covered in red, but you could still make out the faces of his deceased relatives, which his mom had put on those shirts so that they could be with him on that big day. Major new details also came to light moments ago. In police interrogation footage from shortly after the shooting, Pollard disclosed he believes one of Sean Jackson's friends who was at the graduation had killed someone close to him back in 2021. Just feet away from the jury, the defendant broke down shaking and sobbing during this portion of the trial, sending a ripple effect of his loved ones also holding each other in the courtroom. In the same interrogation footage, Pollard recalled moments leading up to the shooting. He said the victim and his friends were taunting him and that Jackson said that his group was going to, quote, crush them. Pollard said this quickly became a mob scene. He saw Jackson moving his hands near his robe and others reaching for a backpack. That's when the defendant says he got scared they would shoot him, so he fired his weapon. In that last clip of footage I saw just before stepping out, an officer had asked Pollard why he did what he did that day. The defendant responded, he is not going to lie, he was scared. I, he also asked the officer on a quote, personal level, what he thinks he should have done differently. We still don't know whether Pollard himself is going to take the stand over the next couple of days. So stick with 8 News for updates. Live in Richmond, Sierra Krug, 8 News.